Whatever your reason for wanting to disguise a chain link fence, adorn a solid wood wall, or maximize vertical space, we have compiled a list of the top plants for fence lines to help you out. Number one, hollyhocks. As far as cottage gardens go, hollyhocks are the standard. Their stature makes them best suited for planting toward the rear of flower beds, sometimes even beside a fence. Planting seeds in the same spot for two years in a row can guarantee annual blooming. From zone three through eight, hollyhocks flourish. Number two, clematis. Clematis may require tying or fastening to fences due to the small stems. Plants can be trained to climb by incorporating fishing line or wire. Clematis thrives when planted between two plants that will provide shade for its base, such as a fence, because it prefers to have its crown in the sun while its lower parts remain in the shade. This plant often thrives in zones four to nine. Number three, foxglove. Plants can withstand direct sunlight but they thrive when shaded in the afternoon. Foxgloves are biennials or short-lived perennials. The first year they develop, they put forth a basal rosette of leaves, and the second year, they bloom. Foxglove is easy to plant and will quickly spread its seeds for a lush landscape. Zones four to nine are ideal for foxgloves. Number four, Rose of Sharon. Rose of Sharon softens the look of any fence, whether it's a solid wall or a slatted fence, adding a touch of cottage charm. It doesn't take much to cultivate plants and they can adapt to almost any kind of environment. Some beautiful double bloom variations are among the sterile cultivars accessible to gardeners who are concerned about self-sowing. The best zones for Rose of Sharon are five through nine. Number five, Black-Eyed Susan. The summer garden becomes a butterfly haven when you plant this easy to grow biennial, which blooms continuously for months. Although it is best grown as an annual, Black-Eyed Susan is actually a biennial because it blooms in the first season following planting. Additionally, it adds beauty to your garden fence line by self-seeding. To thrive, black-eyed Susans need to be in zones three through nine. Number six, spider flower. From early July all the way into fall, this annual blooms with showy, colorful flowers. Plants that reach a height of four to six feet will look great leaning against the fence. In early summer, you can promote a bushier habit by pinching plants back if you so like. Spider flowers thrive in zones two to 11. Number seven, holly. Add some greenery to long solid fences to make them less boring. Hollies come in a vast array of shapes and sizes, from little spherical shrubs to massive pyramidal trees, so you can find one that suits your garden perfectly. Adding a touch of winter beauty and luring songbirds Red berries are a win-win. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.